All the real boxing fans want to see Tank versus Devin. Well, Bill Haney just spoke, and I got bad news for y'all. We're going to talk about what that news is, but before we get into that, make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook. And oh yeah, I'm going to let y'all hear the audio as well. So getting straight into it, right? All the real boxing fans want to see Devin and Tank link up. Get it on. Finally, after years and years of talking back and forth on the internet, I'm sick of all the talking back and forth. I want to see these boys get in the ring. First, they got to work it out behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? With them contract signings, the negotiations, all the stipulations and whatever. They got to work all that out. And I've been on record saying that plenty of times. I've also been on record letting everybody know we can't look past Ryan Garcia and we can't look past Frank Martin because Frank Martin and Ryan Garcia, if you ask me, they both threats. So if Devin can get past Ryan Garcia and Tank can get past Frank Martin, we want to see them fight each other. You know what I'm talking about? I want to see it. All that talking back and forth on the internet is cool for a little while for entertainment. But after a while, man, that shit get old and we want to see the product in the ring. We want to see what's going to go down in the ring once they face off with each other. All the sparring and all of that, that's cool to talk and joke and clown about. But I want to see what the real deal is in the ring once they put them eight ounce gloves on. And it's been a whole lot of issues on why this fight haven't happened and why this fight don't look like it's going to happen no time soon. We've heard Leonard Ellaby time after time again say that Devin Haney ain't a sell. The fight ain't ready yet. The fight will happen whenever Tank said it happened and, and all of that, right? We've heard all of that. We've heard from Tank's team. We've heard from Bill Haney. We've heard that it ain't going to be no rehydration clause. We've heard all type of waste stipulations. We've heard everything and every roadblock to get in the way of this fight. But at one point in time, everybody was screaming because Devin Haney was a free agent after he left. And this this was just like, what, less than a year ago. After he left top rank, everybody was like, Devin got to go over there and holler at Al Heyman in the PBC if he really want to get that tank fight done. We know how Al Heyman in the PBC work. They want to do their shit in-house right and especially if they know that a fighter is coming up on free agency that's when they gonna test them are you gonna come over here and try to get the business done with us well with all that being said let's hear what bill haney had to say recently this is just recently bill haney talked about is he gonna be willing to sign with the pbc to make the javante davis fight happen is he going to be willing to sign a multi-fight deal with the PBC? Go work with the PBC. And this is what Bill Haney had to say about it. Are you willing to talk to Floyd and Ellerby about signing no, to them? Listen, we've discussed that with Ellerby. I've discussed it with Ellerby, who's also told me um, that fight will happen in time. When, whenever that time is, he doesn't know. He's also said that publicly and privately, it's up to Javante Davis about making the fight. And it's not about assigning to PBC to then fight fighters on PBC if Tank Davis doesn't want to fight. Okay, so basically, if he's not on a PBC fight deal, there's no need for you to sign the PBC. Yes, no. I mean... What about just establishing a working relationship, like so that oh, yeah. you can yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, get just, to that? Just at, right, right. Just, just start working, right? Just at the just, just work. No, just go no, work no. Listen, just, listen, listen. No, 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 no. I hear you. No, no. Because we could do. We could, we could say. We could say. Hey, we want Tank, or we can't guarantee I mean, you Tank. Cool. Okay. Let's start with Pitbull Cruz. That's a uh -huh. unification. And, listen, listen, and maybe you could sign for the Pitbull, Pitbull if, fight. Listen, if Pitbull wanted to fight, if Pitbull wanted to fight, and um, he has great management with... Um, Sean Gibbons, Manny Pacquiao. Sean Gibbons. Yeah, Sean Gibbons, Manny Pacquiao. Then they'll make the fight happen, man. Ain't no fucking... The, all them sides of the streets and all that bullshit. That's not... It's not what it is. Um, 
And that's cool. It's just cool. not. So y'all can clearly hear that Bill don't have no interest in signing no type of multi-fight deal with the PBC. If Tank is not promised and on that contract, he said they're not trying to work with the PBC. Now, in some of the audio that I didn't play, y'all, Bill went on to talk about how when Devin Haney was coming up on Showbox, he was one of the hottest free agent signers, young free agent signers coming up, right? And he says that the PBC had a chance to sign Devin Haney then, and they didn't even try to. He says they didn't even negotiate with them. They didn't try to sign Devin at all. They just let him walk. So it sounds like if that is the truth, Bill feels some type of way about that. He still ain't forgot about that. He feels like that they should have went at Devin Hart like the rest of the companies he say did. But they didn't. So he says now it ain't no need to work with the PBC. It ain't no such thing as the size of the streets. He says from listening to Leonard Ellaby, Leonard said whenever Tank is ready to fight, if he wants to, Tank will make that happen. Now, I usually would call Cap on Bill Haney and say, man, that man ain't said nothing like that. But I've actually heard Leonard Ellaby say things like that, you know, out of his own mouth on several interviews. So I can't say he capping about that. But with everything that Bill said, everybody's going to want to know, well, you went and signed with top rank when you wanted to fight a fighter on top rank. You went and signed with Match Room. You moving around to Golden Boy now because you want to fight Ryan Garcia. Why can't you do the same with PBC? So that's the question that a lot of people going to be asking after they hear this video. Why is he able to move around and sign with all these other promotional companies, but he can't do the same with the PBC if he say he want a Javante Davis fight? And that's definitely a valid question to be asking. So when we talk about this situation and keep it real and unbiased on both sides, we got to say, are the PBC willing to call Devin and Bill to the table and negotiate a Javante Davis fight? Because I understand what Bill is saying if they just go to the table and it ain't no Javante Davis fight on the contract promise. Then I agree. I wouldn't sign to the PBC if they can't promise me a Tank Davis fight because, you know, one thing I can say about how Devin and Bill been moving around, they have been staying active. With these promotional companies that they've been with, they've been active. PBC, they might sign you and might have you sitting on the shelf or might have you only fighting one time a year. So if it's activity that they want, I can understand what they're doing with these other promotional companies, right? And I can understand them saying, we're not going to do no business with the PBC unless Javante Davis is on that contract. Now, I also realize that if Bill is saying this and he really want to fight with Tank, he got to go to the PBC, talk to them and say, look, are y'all willing to put that Tank fight on? This is what we coming over here to do. We want Javante Davis first. We can have a rematch clause in there or whatever if he loses. You know, so we'll sign a multi-fight deal, a two-fight deal with Tank in a rematch. Or afterwards, we'll agree to stay with y'all for another fight or two. See, this is how you got to work. It can't be just all one-sided because, look, man, we know how the PBC work. They not finna let y'all go over there and run shit. They ain't finna let y'all go over there and say, look, we want Tank and then that's it. We leaving after that. That's not how they gonna work. So... When I'm looking at the situation, the bad news is this fight ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep it a buck. Neither side want the fight bad enough to make it happen. That's just how I see it. Tank Davis and his team, they don't want it bad enough to do what they got to do to make it happen. And Devin Haney and his pops, they don't want it bad enough. They just talk it. They don't want it bad enough to do what they got to do to make it happen. So this fight ain't going to happen, y'all. I'm telling y'all that right now. We need to stop gassing it up and talking about it. It ain't going to happen. This another Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua situation. It just ain't going to happen. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me hear y'all comments. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure that you do hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub. And y'all already know how I do. Tango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.